Hey gang, welcome back to Mondays at the Museum. I'm Carrie and I'm here at the Anna B. Miss Palmer Museum in York, Nebraska. So for this episode, we're gonna be talking about the Grand Army of the Republic or the G-A-R. So why is this our topic of today? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I went to visit Anna's grave at the Greenwood Cemetery here in York, and I posted some photos of her grave as well as her husband's as they're buried there together. Her first as husband is Robert Irvin Cutler. He goes by R.E. Cutler. And he was actually a member of the Grand Army of the Republic, and people were noticing the little marker next to his grave that said G.A.R., and they were asking me what it stood for. So the Grand Army of the Republic. What is it? Why is it important? So basically, this was an organization of Union soldier veterans that would get together. Um, it was started by a man named Benjamin Franklin Stevenson. Um, he's from Springfield, Illinois. It was started in April of 1866. It started with 12 members and it grew to its peak to 400,000 members. Um, it became so prominent in some societies that they would wear this dark blue uniform and they would wear these bronze star buttons and people would call them the bronze button heroes because they would just see them and immediately see the star and know exactly what they're a part of. Um, when you were a member, you didn't call each other the bronze button heroes. You called each other comrade. And I'm gonna show you here one of the artifacts that I have here. Um, so this is from the Grand Army of the Republic Department of Nebraska. And as you can see, comrade R.E. Cutler. And this is basically his appointment to aide de camp here. And it's signed, it's got um, assistant adjutant general, and it's also got the department commander signature. And it's dated August of 1920. So here you go, you can see that. I'm gonna post a picture of this on our social media. Uh, we also have something a little bit more national for him as well. So I'm gonna take you to this down here. So as you can see, the Grand Army of the Republic, and this is another certificate, um, although much bigger than the original one. Um, and this one is from the Commander in Chief of the Grand Army of the Republic, and it's got their official seal on it. And this one is dated January of 1920. Um, so basically, we have actually quite a few pieces of memorabilia from the Grand Army of the Republic. And as it turns out, a lot of it is actually donated by the Grand Army of the Republic itself. Um, they stood for three things, really, uh, fraternity, charity, and loyalty. So for fraternity, they would get together and host these encampments. They would do campfires. They would sing war songs and tell war stories. Um, the charity part was that they would basically support widows and orphans. They would start orphanages. Um, and the loyalty thing was that they would use funds to build memorials and mementos um, to fallen soldiers. And it was such a well-known organization that actually five presidents were members of it. Um, those were Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Harrison, and McKinley. So um, they've done a lot of really good work over the years um, and they became actually a really powerful organization politically. Um, it is said that they actually foiled Grover Cleveland's re-election uh, because he opposed one of the bills that they had set in motion and they sabotaged his campaign. So there's this article uh, that was published, well, journal basically that was published by this uh, Library of Congress. And there's a quote here that says, the wrath of the entire body could be called down upon any man in public life who objected to GAR sponsored legislation, which is just crazy. Um, but they did do good work and it's because of them that Memorial Day exists. Um, because there's so much involved with this organization and so many artifacts that we have donated by them that I'm going to do a series of posts, pictures and videos and stuff throughout the week that talks more about this because I don't wanna cut them short and there's so many cool things here in our museum, museum uh, dealing directly with them. So um, tune in later this week, you're gonna see some really cool stuff and feel free to reach out if you have questions, comments, or if you um, or any of your relatives have direct ties to the GAR, I'd love to hear about it. We'll see you next time.